welcome back to my channel. It is Taj aka Mataj Massage and this is Mataj Midas Living. It is that time again for me to be doing a channeled energy reading for the month of November 2021 but also remember whatever timeline you find this in, even if it's a different month, if you've been led to this video, then this message is likely to be for you. But always talk to God about it, pray on it, test the spirit and make sure the message is genuinely for you. But more often than not, if you have been led here, then you've been led here for a reason. I hope you are all doing well. I hope everyone has been good over the last month since the last energy update that I did. Um, I've been picking up on different kinds of energy. So the other day, so today is what day? Today is the 20th of October, 2021. It is a Wednesday and Saturday just, was it Saturday? I think it was Saturday. I think so, yeah, Saturday just gone, I channeled a really, really intense prophetic message from God uh, regarding rainbows. And then I think this video is due to, this video um, that I'm talking about is due to come out on the 5th of November. So that's the date that I was guided to release it. So that's literally uploading as I'm recording this now, to be fair. And then I was like, okay, so that's something else entirely. There's loads of different messages in regards to that. And when it is out, I suggest that you check it out. There was so much information that was being channeled through. I'm sure it will either all be relevant for you or some parts will be relevant, but um, keep an eye out for that video but funnily enough the energy that I've been picking up on today and not even that long ago is kind of when I started thinking about how my morning kind of went I was like oh it's the energy of letting go so the first reason why I thought of that is I woke up with a song going round and round and round and round and round in my head it's a song I listened to quite a bit I listened to it enough but I hadn't listened to it Today, I just woke up with it in my head and it's a gospel song and it's called Let It Go. I can't remember the name of the artist, but it goes, um, I woke up with the weight of the world on my shoulder. God told me to let it go. And it's a really nice song. And I was like, is that the energy then? I was like, is that why that song's in my head? And I wasn't really sure. And then maybe about... 90 seconds or so after I asked that question the sun started beaming and I was like ah okay I see you God so that's my answer so that is the energy that I'm picking up on and then something else a couple of other things that confirmed it to me was the kind of mood I was in earlier today this morning loads of little things were agitating me so I went to the gym this morning I woke up I was in an okay mood I wasn't in a bad mood in particular nothing's happened or anything but I just felt agitated and really small things were irritating me like people driving too slow people taking long at the roundabout this that and the other and I can get quite agitated when I'm driving anyways but if I'm in a good mood it doesn't affect me and I was in a, my mood was completely fine. I was just thinking, why is everything irritating me? When I was walking to the gym from my car, people <laughs> that were just out and about were like cutting in front of me and getting in the way and just stopping in the middle of the pavement and stuff like that. And I was just like, oh my gosh. And it's really bad because I tutted at quite a few people and I kissed my teeth at quite a few people. I even like mumbled under my breath, which is really bad because I shouldn't have done that. But then it also made me realise it's not that deep. Let it go. So that kind of tied in with the message again. And what else happened? There was something else that happened and it made me think the energies to let go. Oh yeah, that's it. So today, the date that I'm recording this video, um, also apologies for the noise outside. There are um, builders doing works in the building next door to me. So if you can hear that, that's what it is. But yeah, the other thing is today is actually go or tonight will be a 
full moon and the full moon energy is all about letting go of energies that are no longer serving us so it's like, okay triple confirmation that all works for me so we've got the song that i woke up with in my head and the song's called let it go then also god confirmed it with the sun coming out when i um asked if that was the energy i was picking up on then the second thing was with me getting agitated with everyone earlier and behaving in a way that i shouldn't have and it's not till i had some self-realization i was like it's not that deep let it go and then obviously today is going to be a full moon later on and that whole thing is about letting go of energies that are no longer serving us or even goals and stuff that might not have come out the way you wanted it to or it wasn't going according to plan or you've changed your mind in regards to things that you set when it was the new moon when you get to the full moon is a time to reevaluate let some things go and then continue through until the new moon where you then make new goals and stuff again but that is enough of me waffling sorry i keep tapping the table and the camera keeps shaking that is enough of me waffling and i just want to get into the reading now but before I do that, if we vibe, join the tribe and make sure you like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're notified of when I have new videos out. And also make sure you click notify all so you'll be notified of all my new content that is out. So I will be using the same cards that I always use, except this time I'll be using all of them and not forgetting any. I've got them all out ready this time, all the cards out of the boxes. So let's get straight into it. So I'm using the Modern Witch Tarot deck, the Crystal Angels Oracle cards, the Secret Language of Light cards, and my Divine Timing deck. As per usual, the aim is to draw one card from each deck, but if God has more messages for us, then he will let me know as we go through. I'm just going to say a quick prayer before I start this reading. So bearing in mind the energies of letting go, it will be interesting to see what the cards are saying too. Okay, thank you Father for giving me the gift of being able to channel messages via you and also the gift of prophecy and to be able to interpret the energy of these cards so that the collective can see visually the messages that are being relayed through myself i pray that you cover those that are under the sound of my voice in this moment now i pray that they're given the correct guidance i pray that they get to the answers and confirmations that they have been looking for through this reading. I also pray that you reduce me and increase the Holy Spirit in me so that I can relay the correct messages as well as possible via you, Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, prayer done. Let's get this started. I wonder what cards are going to come out. I feel like I haven't used this deck in a while. I did like a personal reading on myself, maybe like a couple of weeks ago. And I've not used these cards since then. So let's see. So hopefully we'll get one card from each deck. Is it gonna be any of these? Is it that one? Okay. That's one card done. Let's go on to the next step. Also, side note, just in case anyone's like, oh, I don't want to see her shuffle the cards and da, 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 feel free to fast forward. But I just like to shuffle the cards on camera so that you can see that I'm not randomly picking these cards, especially when I pick up on the energies beforehand. I want you to know that this is genuine. So let's see what comes out of this deck. What do we need to know? Also, with the tarot cards, I'm going to be continuing to use my own notebook with regards to the interpretation of the cards in that deck. 
and with all the other ones I will channel whatever comes through as well as reading the guidebooks. Is it that one? Yep. Is it? No, but okay, it's not because there's two cards there. I thought it was going to be that one, but he said no. Okay, it's that one. Next deck. Now we'll do the Secret Language of Light cards. If I can pick up the last one, I've got like no nails whatsoever. I have to have them this short for massage. I just cut them again the other day. All right, I picked it up now. The maddest thing is, oops. The maddest thing is, if that was one card, I would have just taken it. Um, my nails grow so quickly, so I'm always cutting them now because they they always have to be short. Okay, that's one. And last but not least the divine timing cards and also as I said if we need any further confirmation I will go back to the tarot deck and see what comes out of there if anything if there's any messages that are, are unclear what do we need from this deck what do we need to know what are the energies I thought that one was going to fall off then. Okay. Right, let's get into it then. So the first card is the Knight of Cups. Cups cards are linked to um, emotions. So it's water energy. So let's see what it says in my guidebook about the Knight of Cups cups and I'll hold it up as well so you can see the card okay so I've got, if it's a person it's someone who is confident charming and a pleasure to be around and when it's related to a situation it means something exciting and intriguing that instantly draws you in it says be aware or cautious of this person slash situation. If it is a person, although there are many great qualities they bring to the table, they are easily distracted and can be pulled away as quickly as they come in for something newer and shinier. Before I continue reading that part, that just made me get the message come through in regards to letting go. So you know the whole thing of relying on other people. Yes, it's good to be able to rely on other people and you should always be able to rely on other people that you know and trust. But also at the end of the day, all of us are, as humans are flawed and no matter how good our intentions are in regards to helping somebody else, we can sometimes get distracted or let people down and kind of things like that. And it's not always, it's not always intentional. Obviously you've got people that are flaky, you shouldn't trust those kind of people. But the people that you can rely on and they, for whatever reason, have let you down when they said they're gonna be there for you or whatever it is, try not to hold onto that and not take it personally and just let it go pretty much. Okay, the next thing it says here is what? Um, if this is a situation, enjoy it for what it is in the here and now, but don't get attached as it is only temporary. There we go. So there's going to be a point where you'll have to let it go. If this is you being distracted, don't forget the people and situations that have been stable and consistent in your life. Put some energy back into this as you may have been neglecting this while distracted by your new shiny toy. Interesting. Okay, so the next card is from the Crystal Angel Oracle deck, and it is Opal, let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. So I'm going to grab the notebook for this. Opal is actually one of my um, birthstones, I believe. I 
think opals are really pretty. They kind of look like diamonds, but they've got like a rainbow tinge to them. And I've just said rainbow, and my prophetic message was about rainbows. It's all connected, you see. All right, let's read what this says. And if anything else comes through, I will let you guys know. So there's the cards there. Now's the time to reveal your personality and shine brightly. This card comes up whenever you have been hiding your light for fear of being too much. You were guided to show your larger than life side. Laugh heartily, express your opinions freely, dress boldly and don't hold back. You inspire others to shine their light through your living example. This card can also be a sign of expressing and clearing any anger you've been repressing in a relationship. In particular, take healthy action in a, let me just go to the next page, in a marriage where hidden resentment has negatively affected the romance and friendship within the partnership. Marital counselling or mediation is advised to bring about healing and resolution. Again, links to letting go of things. So in regards to the part about if you're holding on to resentment and those kind of things or anger and harsh feelings about yourself and others it's saying to let go of these energies and then the other part where it talks about when you've been hiding your light for fear of being too much in regards to relating that to letting go the message that's coming through is don't hold back because sometimes if you're worried about what other people think of you or you're worried about intimidating other people you will shrink yourself and not release everything that's amazing about you to the people around you because you're worried about what people are going to think whether you do you or not people are always going to have something to say so you might as well be let go of that feeling and just be your true authentic self because if they're going to talk about you anyways you might as well live your best life all right, the next card is from the Secrets Language of Light deck. And <laughs> I literally just said about being your authentic self. Look what's come out. Authentic truth. <laughs> oh, my days. <laughs> I actually can't deal I actually cannot deal. And I know this happens in every single reading, pretty much. And I'm like, ah, how did this happen? How did I know that? Obviously it's because of God, but it's just mad. It's actually mad. Anyway, so this says, let me hold the card up so you can see it. The truth will set you free. So long as you recognize there is more than one truth, and that the answers you seek exist beyond the beliefs you hold now. There are many truths in this world. You don't have to believe them all. Just focus on what resonates with you. If you must convince yourself or your beliefs, they are not your truth. Your truth will always fulfill and satisfy. It is unconditional, meaning conditions don't have to change for you to live and feel your truth. There is no right or wrong, but there is cause and effect or action and reaction. Master yourself not someone else's processes. When you change your beliefs, your life changes to match it. To do this, you must be aware of how you feel and practice focusing on what makes your heart sing, not shrink. Didn't I just say not uh, about not dimming your light for the sake of others? Um, when you align with your truth, you will flow, feel excited and believe an authentic life is possible. If it is not your truth, you will resist, find it hard to commit and feel indecisive. There's not even much else that I need to say on that card. It pretty much speaks for itself about standing in your truth. But there is one thing I wanted to touch on because I've been not battling with standing in my truth, but because I have been standing in my truth in regards to what's been going on on a global scale, like, you know what I'm talking about if you're watching this something that started around March 2020 and we're still going through that now and my truth in regards to that has been completely different to the vast majority and as much as I know deep down in my heart that what I believe 
is correct. I still respect other people's beliefs, but a lot of the time I've not been getting that same respect back and it it can be hard. It does feel like a battle at times to stand in your truth and to be honest and also to let go of feeling agitated and annoyed and hurt by people shutting you down because of your beliefs and stuff like that and it's taken me a while to get to that space because at the start I was just arguing with people so I'm like well you're asking me why I believe a certain thing and then when I'm explaining it to you you're just shutting me down so it's like well why are you asking me then and I try and argue and argue end up shouting over each other and it just ends up being a mess whereas now I'm just like okay cool you believe that I believe this let's keep it moving and that is a better space to be in. That is that same energy of letting things go. So the last card now is from the Divine Timing deck. And it says Taurus. 20th of April to 20th of May, which is obviously the season of Taurus. But what I'm picking up on this card is the energy of grounding because Taurus is an earth energy and also something else that I'm picking up as I'm looking at this card is about digging your heels in but not in a negative way so not in the way where you're being stubborn and not listening to reason and anything like that it's more in regards to the energy of this card standing in your truth and standing up for what you believe in and not being swayed because you know all the way through to your core that what you're saying or what you're believing is the truth to you and it means a lot to you and it's okay to be it's not even it's not even stubborn because stubborn is more of a negative trait where you're not willing to see well you're not willing to reason or see what anyone else has to say whereas when you're standing in your truth and you know for a fact you know in your mind body soul that what you believe is 100% true and there's like nothing that anyone can say to convince you otherwise but you still respect other people's views then in that sense digging your heels in for what you believe in then that's a good space to be in because I can say, hand on heart, that since all this stuff kicked on, I have resisted every rule, regulation that has come through. <sighs> to the point where it was giving me anxiety and there were times where I was like, oh, maybe I should just follow this rule then. Or maybe I should just do this to make life easier. And it was like, well, no, because deep in my spirit, that doesn't sit right with me. And it's in situations like that, if it really doesn't sit right with you to go against what it is you believe in, then that is when you can dig your heels in and have that almost stubborn energy, but rather it being stubborn energy. It's just you're, you're sticking to your words and your integrity and your views and your beliefs, and that's okay. So that, that is the end of the reading. The theme is, or the energy is, to let go of what is not serving you and to stand in your truth. So yeah, with the Knight of Cups, some people will come into your life with good intentions or situations that are great, but they may only be temporary. Enjoy it for what it is in that time. And then when the time passes, don't hold on to it, just be thankful for what it was and keep it moving. And then with these two cards, it is about standing in your truth. Don't dim your light, be yourself, be great, be amazing. Don't let anyone stand in your way of that. Also be respectful of it. And then this one here is just to reaffirm that you need to stand in your authentic truth. Hold your head up high while being in your authentic truth, but be respectful of other people's views at the same time. But just know that your beliefs are valid. 
I hope you found that useful. Let me know if it resonates in the comments below. I would love to know that. I love hearing when people have messaged me or said that the reading really resonated with them. So let me know down below. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified of when I have new content out. And what was the other part? click notify all so that you're notified of all my videos. Otherwise, I think it just randomly lets you know when some of my videos are out, but not all of them. But I hope you found this useful and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to keep an eye out for the prophetic message that will be coming out on the 5th of November. Love you all.